the most important thing I love doing is DJing. It just it just turns up a place if you get what I'm saying. So, like if you had a party, and obviously a party is really boring, yeah. A DJ, his job is to make it sick. Life was like it was pretty hard because it was just my mum and me, and my brothers. My, my dad left my mum when I was five, so now I'm 16. So about 11 years now. So yeah, personally. It was hard at times because obviously like stuff like parents evening, you, people used to come with their mums and dads and usually it would just be my mum. So sometimes I would feel a bit left out. I started like hanging around in the wrong crowds really and just like in school, I used to get bullied a lot because of the way I looked and like my size and my complexion. So that really affected me so much in my schoolwork. Like there were some times where I wouldn't show I was upset but deep down inside, it really hurt me so much. I mean, you could you could cut me open, like you see how deep the wounds were, because it was just too much for me to handle. Like, times in school, I, I wouldn't show it. I mean, in school, you'd see me, I'm always smiling, I'm always happy, but as soon as I leave school, and as soon as I get home, that front door, it's a different story, because I took it home, and I started bullying my brothers, and started, you know, just swearing all the time, and, it just really got over the top sometimes. So I would even break stuff just because I had no one to take my anger out on. And sometimes it got too much for me, so I didn't really know what to do. I was invited to youth on a Friday and um, I was a bit hesitant to go. And my mum was like, oh, just have a, just go see what it's like. So I went and I don't know, it was just something different about it. It's not like, it's not, it wasn't normal at all in a good way because Usually I expect people when they first see me, obviously the way that I look, I, f I usually think, oh, he's fat, let's not talk to him. But obviously when I came, everyone was so nice and they were so calm. And as I gradually kept on coming, there was this one time in the service that was like, if you want to know Jesus or just get to know him or just want to hear more about him, just put your hand up. And there was just something about that moment, like my heart was beating faster, I don't know, it felt like something was running down my body. I didn't know what it was. And I, I'll still remember this moment. There was something just whispering in my ear, go for it. And someone was telling me, just like, just leave it. So my hand was just like in the middle of like my chest and stuff. And I saw like bang. And I just went for it. After that, I just opened my eyes really. And I just knew that life wasn't going to be the same again. I didn't have to go home and worry about not having friends. I didn't have to go home and feel excluded from people. They have to go home, feel lost, empty, like, like someone had beaten me down so much that I couldn't get back up. I knew that there was someone to turn to and that someone was just, his name is called Jesus. And that's just the great thing about him. Like, he's there for you whenever you need him. Now, nah, life is proper shabba, and shabba means like sick and sick means good and good means awesome at the same time. So yeah, life is just awesome at the moment. If God didn't introduce me to the youth or God didn't let someone invite me to the youth, I don't know, I could be, I might not even be here today. You never know. But yeah, so I just thank God for everything.